Enthalpy might be a new term for you, but it's related to the internal energy of our system. The definition is it is the internal energy plus the product of the pressure and the volume. So this is a state function, which means it only depends on the initial and the final values. If we look at the equation, we can see that it's equal to the energy plus the pressure times the volume. So if we expand the energy into heat plus work, which is negative P delta V, and we add P delta V from our definition, you'll notice the pressure and the volume cancel. So what enthalpy is, is it is the amount of heat that is produced by a chemical reaction. So this is when we don't care about the amount of work that a chemical reaction does, or we don't care about the amount of gas that is produced, only the amount of heat that the reaction produces. So there's lots of cases where this would be important. Like if you're trying to heat your food, you only care about the energy that is going to change the temperature of the food. We don't care about the expansion of the gases that come from the combustion reaction. So enthalpy is a very useful term, even though it might be unfamiliar to you. The values for enthalpy and energy will be very close to each other if our chemical reaction does not produce a large amount of gas or any gas. If our reaction produces a very large amount of gas, the value for enthalpy and energy will be different. So we only care about the amount of heat that is given off by our chemical reaction. And this is at constant pressure. So as I've already stated, they are very similar in value if there is no gas produced. If we have large quantities of gas, then the values will be different. So enthalpy is related to exothermic and endothermic reaction. So when our enthalpy is negative, that means that heat is being given off by our chemical reaction, being released by the system, and we'll have a negative sign for our enthalpy, which is an exothermic reaction. If the enthalpy is a positive value. That means that energy or heat is being absorbed by the system. So it, it's pulling heat in. And this is going to be an endothermic reaction. So if our delta H is positive, it's endothermic. If it's negative, it's exothermic. So let's look at how enthalpy relates to a chemical reaction. It is an extensive property, which means that the more starting materials and reactants that we have, the larger the amount of heat that we are going to be given off or absorbed. So this means that we can use it as a conversion factor in our chemical reaction, with a chemical reaction. If we look at propane, so this is the combustion of propane, which some of you might use to heat your homes if you live in a rural area, or use in a gas grill to cook your food. We see that we've got a balanced chemical reaction and the amount of heat that is given off. We know because it is negative, this is an exothermic reaction. And we can see that if we look at the one mole from our coefficient of propane is equal to negative 2,044 kilojoules of heat given off. So this can become a conversion factor to use. It is also 
can be related to things other than propane. So if we want to look at oxygen, the coefficient is 5 in our balanced chemical reaction. And so we still get the negative 2,044 kilojoules of heat produced, but it takes 5 moles of oxygen. So using the balanced chemical reaction and the enthalpy, this can become a conversion factor. So let's look at an example. How much heat is given off in the complete combustion of 13.2 kilograms of our propane? So we do have to use our dimensional analysis. We want to convert from kilogram into gram. So one kilogram, kilogram is larger. It's going to take more grams, thousand. Now that we're in grams, we can add up our molar mass. So three times the mass of carbon plus eight times the mass of hydrogen. That allows us to convert into moles. And now using the equations that we looked at, or the conversion factors we looked at on the previous slide, we know that one mole of propane produced 2,044 kilojoules of heat. So by multiplying across the top, Dividing by anything on the bottom, you can see that burning 13.2 kilograms of propane will produce negative 6.12 times 10 to the fifth kilojoules of heat. So it does make sense that it's a negative value because this is an exothermic reaction. And this is a much larger amount than one mole, so we get a bigger value than the 2044. Here's a practice for you. So now we're going to burn a diamond in order to see how much heat is given off. Diamonds, remember, are made out of pure carbon. See if you can determine the amount by pausing the video and trying the problem on your own. So we're going to start with the grams of our diamond. So our diamond is made out of pure carbon. We need to convert to moles. So using our molar mass of carbon, 12.01 grams in one mole. We're told that the enthalpy of combustion for one mole of carbon is negative 395.4 kilojoules. So multiplying across the top, dividing by anything on the bottom, get negative 15.9 kilojoules of heat produced from burning our diamond. This is actually a pretty large diamond, so point grams is a carat. So this is over a two carat diamond to get negative 15.9 kilojoules of heat. Um, I think I'm going to stick to burning propane instead of diamonds at my house anyhow.